On May 6, 2021, the Nigeria Office for Developing the Indigenous Telecom Sector was birthed, having gotten the nod of President Muhammadu Buhari to Martelia. The purpose of the establishment, among other things, is to develop and patronize indigenous content and discourage importation of products which are produced locally. It's a year since the birth of the policy and stakeholders are meeting here for an assessment of the journey so far, while also proffering solutions to challenges. This policy is transform the enormous strides achieved by the telecoms industry in the last two decades. In the next three years, we will be able to increase our indigenous content and reduce importation to a maximum of a 20%. This is indeed very important. Ego State Governor is represented here by a special advisor on innovation and technology. The open sourcing of ideas, the open sourcing of uh, uh, patents and knowledge sharing enables a wider array of solution providers to come up with very ingenious solutions to our problems. But aside the economic benefits inherent in the ICT, its role in security is far more important, and as according to the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, he pulls the blame on non-utilization of available data on security agencies. That there are many security challenges, kidnapping, banditry and terrorism, while there is none unseen. This question should be forwarded to security institutions. Because what we have done is to establish the database, which is still work in progress. So far, we have over 86 million citizens in the database. The call now is for concerned parties to take responsibility. If you look at the board of NIMSI, you will discover that the members of the board of NIMSI, NSA, DGSSS, Police Affairs, CBN, Immigration Services, and many more, they are the board of NIMSI. So what I have done is only to support them. But utilizing the database, I have no power to do. If the war on terrorism will be won in Nigeria, data, its gathering, sharing and usage will play significantly since the 24th century problem will require an equal or higher deployment of efforts rather than the usual approach that are not yielding much fruit as expected. Timothy Crown, Adiribigbe, Channel Television News.